Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. Time of the year, it's fall. And I love all the seasons because every particular season brings its own symbolism and its own great materials and so forth. But I have to admit, fall is one of my favorite times of the year. And so we thought it might be fun today to make just a lovely fall arrangement. And I hope you guys enjoy it. In starting off with our fall arrangement, we've got one of my favorite containers. We've got a footed pedestal. It's a big one. It almost looks like maybe a drinking cup that Thor might use if he's having a particularly uh, great time. Uh, we've got some foam embedded into it. I'm using the black foam, which is really neat stuff that the folks at Oasis have come up with. And we thought we would take it from there. And we've got some neat things to do on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my foliage. And I've got some foliage that I pulled uh, that I think you guys will enjoy. We're going to put a few there. And you can see right from the get-go, this is not going to be a teeny tiny kind of design because when we start playing with some of our branchy material and our foliage like this, we can extend the parameters of this arrangement. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to be placing some of my greens in here. And I'm going to use a little here and there so that we can kind of define the overall uh, way this design is going to go. And this will give us, I think, some interesting effects. And I've got more of these materials. I'm going to play some right here. And then uh, just bear with me, my viewer, because I'm, as we're talking, I'm taking some of this material and I'm cutting it and using it. And I want to place a little bit more down over onto this side. So you can see, my viewer, by the time I get through just with this one kind of foliage, we've got a pretty decent coverage. I'm going to mix some materials together, though, both in terms of my foliages as well as my flowers. I have some lovely seeded yuke here, if I can get it out of my container here. I've got some lovely seeded yuke, and I'm going to mix some of that in too. Because sometimes when we mix greens together, we can come up with some really, really cool effects because each one brings very specific shapes and also kinds of feeling to our design. And so I'm going to work a little bit of some of our seeded yuke in here as well and place some of this in here. And I'm going to gradually create the parameters of our design using some of these foliage materials. As I think you can see, my viewer, this one is going to be big, it's going to be showy, and it's going to be kind of fun. It's one of these designs that you wouldn't want to have to deliver anywhere, but it sure as heck is fun to make and to play with in terms of doing this kind of presentation. And I'm going to just continue along with my materials here, taking some more and playing it over on this side. I think you can see, my viewer, we've got some very, very neat things that we're playing with. And I'm just gradually working them here and there into my design. Let me grab one more piece that I would like to work in, maybe over right into this spot here. And so I'm taking it and working it over here. And you can see, before we add a single flower, you're getting a pretty good sense that this thing is going to be interesting on a number of different levels. Now we've got some great flowers to play with. One of the nice times, one of the nice things about this time of the year is we have so many cool things and we're just at the point of the season where mm, the dahlias are around and we're, we're very fortunate to have them at this point. I think that come the frost we're going to start uh, not being able to get hold of them. But right now I can get some. And so it would be kind of fun to work a few dahlias into our design. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to take a few of these and work them in as well. So we're going to put one maybe right up here. And then let's take another one and see if maybe we can get this one in a little bit lower, maybe over around this spot here. And we're going to really, if you think about it, what I'm doing here is creating almost like a rhythmic flow using this amazing flower. If you don't have this one available to you, there are certainly many kinds of round kinds of flowers that we can get that will give a very, very pretty effect in our designing. Now the next thing, I'm going to work one right down over here as well. So I think you can see I'm creating a visual rhythm 
using my dahlias, and you can see the way this is just gradually coming together. Uh, but this starts right here, 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 and here, but it doesn't really have anything over on this side. So I'm going to take another one of my favorite flowers, and of course, those of you who know me know that every flower is one of my favorite flowers. I love them all for what they bring to the design table. We got some great lilies. And so I'm going to take a lily and work a lily over into this design. And by working a lily in, we're going to create a little bit more balance over here. So now it doesn't feel like we have something that starts boom, 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 but doesn't have something on this side. And just to give it a little bit of of balance on the other side also using our lily. I'm going to work another one over here because I can and it gives us kind of uh, almost like a counterpoint to what's going on here. So we've got some interesting things going on with those. Now what other mischief can we get into? Well, of course you never can go wrong with this flower. It is one of the all-time happy flowers that there are, our sunflowers. And so let's work a couple of sunflowers into our mix. And I am going to get one in fairly close to the baseline of the design right over here. So we'll get a sunflower in this spot right here. And I'll just shift this guy over just a little bit so they both fit nicely for us. And then let's get another sunflower in perhaps over onto the other side, and I'm going to trim this one off. I'm grabbing these things from my buckets and also from my design bench as I'm doing it. And I think you can see my viewer. This thing really feels very, very informal. It's an informal kind of feeling to our design. And let's see, what else can we do on this? Ah, yes, uh, I happen to have, it is fall. So when we're dealing with the season of the year, we certainly get these lo lovely little mini pumpkins, and I've got them on picks so that I can maybe sneak one right over here, and we can maybe get another one in right over perhaps in front of it. So let's get a little pumpkin in here as well. So you can see it just kind of is right over here, leading our eye right over into that. What do you think, my viewer? It's coming al uh, along very, very nicely. Now let's see, what other mischief can we get into? Oh, well, we've got some of these. Let's play with a couple of these flowers here because you never can go wrong with these. And we'll get one over on this side here. And we'll get another one over onto the other side. And I think I'll use it to balance over here. So we got a couple of these to play with. What else do I have? Hmm, I'm just looking at my design bench. Ah, I've got some roses. You can't go wrong with roses. And I have some very, very pretty red roses. And if you notice, our palette up to the point, up to this point has been largely yellows and oranges and yellow oranges. By adding red, it's gonna add a little bit of punch to the design. And so let's get a little bit of red into our composition. And I'm going to work one maybe right over here. And you can see how that's definitely helping us. And then we can get another one of our roses, perhaps over into this side here. And you can see my view. I'm having fun. These things are just a ball to do. You can have fun. You can do some really cool things. They're not hard to do either. They're really uh, designing that I think is some of the most fun stuff to do because basically uh, we're playing with a variety of different things and we're playing with color and texture and different kinds of flowers and we can come up with some really, really nice results. I'm going to take another red rose and work it over here. Notice that what seemed a little bit air conditioned in the beginning isn't so air conditioned now. It's gradually filling in. And you can definitely see that these red roses definitely give us kind of like a punch line and almost like a counterpoint. Now I also, up till now, we've been playing pretty much with, line, with uh, round type flowers. Um, mostly, um, how about some of these? We've got some of our larkspur. Larkspur is pretty. And this will give us a contrast both in color and also in shape. And I think that this will give an interesting effect to our design. 
And so I'm going to place one over here. Let's get one in over on this side here. And let's see if we can get a couple more. Just bear with me, my viewers. I cut a couple of stems. And maybe we get one maybe over in here. And we can also perhaps get another flower over here so that it fits in right in here. And then how about another one of our pieces of larkspur over onto this side. So notice, my viewer, how we're, we're taking it one thing at a time. We're playing with a little of this, a little of that. Doesn't it almost feel like a painting? It is amazing. I'm having so much fun doing this. And I hope that you, my viewer, are enjoying it as well. Uh, I have a few more roses, I notice, <clears throat> that are slightly different. These roses, rather than being red, they're lavender with a darker kind of edging to them. They're really, really pretty. So let's see if we can work a few of these in. These kinds of designs are really pretty because they feel very informal. They drip, they droop, they kind of go off in different directions. Uh, they're really neat. And the thing I like about these kinds of designs is the fact that when you're doing this kind of designing, you're mixing a lot of different elements. Visually, they are complicated because you've got different colors, you've got different textures, you've got different sizes of material that you're playing with on these things. And they really give a lovely show. And I like the fact that the, uh, that the uh, dark uh, black uh, foam that we're using is deliberately designed so you don't have to worry too much about covering mechanics because it blends very, very nicely and it works really well in that capacity. And so notice that by working a few of our, um, of our roses in here, this purple variety, it's giving us a little bit of a blending in terms of something that feels different. It's a different size. It's a different color than the red rose. And I think you can see, my viewer, we're getting a really nice contrast there. And let's see, what other uh, mischief can we do? Ah, I, I do have some palms. Palms, of course, are very, very popular around this time of the year. Now notice, if I leave it like this, I have a terminal case of the clumps. We don't want to have a terminal case of the clumps, so I can do what we call here at Rittner's thinning out technique, or I can just take it, and by doing a little judicious pruning, I can take this, break it down into more than one piece, and then by doing that, be able to sneak it in here and do it so that it's a little bit more tame, a little more controlled. So I can take this and work that over in here. And that gives a nice kind of cluster effect. Once again, I have a terminal case of the clumps. Timber! Let's cut it down. And by doing it that way, I can sneak this one in right over here. And that gives me a really, really cool effect. I could stop at this point if I wanted to. But wait, there's more. Let's add a little bit more to this. And let's see, what else do I have here? I have a few miniature carnations, a few miniature carnations in my design bucket. And so let's play with them. I noticed that I have a couple that are orange, so I can place an orange one in and notice how that kind of blends. But once again, notice how our red really pops the thing out a little bit. I've got a few red mini carnations and I'm going to do a few red ones in here as well because I find that this is a good trick, and you may want to add it to your bag of tricks, my viewer. If you have a few red flowers uh, in your fall compositions, a lot of people don't seem to realize that adding some red really does give you a nice kind of contrast and does make them stand out very, very nicely. So I'm going to take just another little bit using our mini carnations and work that over here. What do you think? Is that gorgeous or what? We could stop at this point and it would be fine. If you wanted to add any branchy stuff, you certainly could. I mean, we could take something like this if we wanted to, for example, and I'm gonna just do it so you can see. It may be your cup of tea, it may not. I think the design is lovely the way it is, but we could add something like this just by poking it in, like so. In other words, I could poke this in and have this kind of standing out as another factor or not. It's up to you. I like adding branchy stuff, but I mention it to you as basically an option. I think the design the way it is right now 
is absolutely gorgeous and I would go with it this way. So what do you think, my viewer? Quick, easy, fun. The Rittner Floral School way. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, it was a pleasure welcoming you into our classroom. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of a lovely fall vase arrangement. Uh, by all means, keep watching us. Check out what we're adding as far as our videos are concerned. And we'd love to see some of you in our classes, both our in-person classes and now our online classes as well. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure having you come in and visit with us today. Thank you.